in the league here at St. Helens. Well, two actually, I beg your pardon, with Warrington in the league and at London with a finish off at Halifax at the end of January. But the Leeds outfit looking very sharp and uh, back to winning ways uh, after a few indifferent performances. And the Saints will be led out this afternoon by captain Bobby Golding after a three-match suspension. And Bobby Golding out, captain of the Saints and match day mascot and the first match day mascot of 1996, young Sarah Hoste. Eight years of age, she is looking very resplendent in a kit there. Sarah attends Eccleston Lane End School. Her hobbies are going to the Brownies. She thoroughly enjoys swimming and she relishes coming here watching the Saints. She loves it, doesn't miss a match. So young Sarah Hosty there, the first mascot of 1996. Her favourite players are Bobby Golding, who she came out with, the captain, just into passing there with Bobby Golding. And her other favourite is Via Matautia. The Saints team for this afternoon, Steve Prescott at fullback, Mike Riley, Andy Northey, Scott Gibbs and Danny Arnold, Carl Hammond and Bobby Gold in the half-back pairing, with Adam Fogarty, Phil Beavers and Andy Leatham in the front row, Simon Boothy and Pickavance and Dean Busby the back three, Phil Waring, Andy Haig, Gareth Cunningham, Via Matautia. You're with Mike Ron Video, my name's Ron Hoof, joining me is uh, Stuart Duffy. He doesn't need any introduction to you, uh, Leeds followers. He, uh, for the St. Helens people, he runs the Leeds uh, radio, the match the day radio at, uh, over there at Leeds, at Headingley. And I'll just pass you to Stuart to give you their team. Thank you, Ron, and a big Happy New Year from me also. Well, Leeds, line up with Graham Holroyd, fullback. That could be a ploy for the future by Leeds. Jim Fallon, Craig Innes, Carl Hall and Marvin Golden, the three quarters. That means there's no place for Kevin Iroh, still injured. But thankfully for Leeds, Craig Innes steps into the breach to replace the injured. Francis Cummings, George Mann and Gary Schofield are the halves. In the front row, Neil Harmon, James Lowe's and Harvey Howard. The back row, two teenagers, 18 and 19 year old. Adrian Morley, Jamie Field, Mike Forshaw is at loose forward. The uh, substitutes, Mick Shaw, Barry McDermott, Anthony Gibbons, Nick Fozard and the referee for this afternoon, a change of referee to the advertised one, it's Colin Morris. And it's Saints going to be playing from right, left to right as you look at it. So that means they will be kicking off and Leeds it will be all be receiving first use of the football this afternoon so a big welcome to 1996 and let's hope it's going to be a successful year for all clubs in rugby league super league kicking off of course in march and this season just rapidly petering out at the end of its tether with the wigan almost certain to be champions for the seventh time on the trot and that, uh, kick straight down and adrian morley will run that was a good kick off from bobby golding just uh, the grubber kick coming in Schofield immediately bringing Jim Fallon round on the loop. Blows again, looks for a runner, finds Neil Harmon. St. Helens lad, he'll be keen to make a big impression this afternoon. Harvey Howard. Good driving forward there from Harvey Howard. So Leeds have made good ground on this uh, set of six from the kickoff. Jamie Field it is now. Up to halfway under five tackles. And Schofield will look to put the kick in. And Bobby Golding looks to charge him down. A high spinning kick. That will go dead too far. So Saints will have the luxury of a tap out on the 20 metres. Yes, Leeds with Gary Schofield back in the lineup, and he's, he's an influential character, Schofield. He, he certainly makes Leeds tick. He's given that spark that they need. And there's a fellow there playing the ball, Phil Beavers, in the veteran stages, but he's given Saints that spark that they needed with Bobby Golding being out for three matches. And Beavers is led by example. Well worthy of his inclusion, with all the respect to, to all of the players who haven't made the starting lineup this afternoon. Andy Leatham, a lot of uh, heavy tackling there, four to bring him down, but Leeds penalised for offside. As Stuart said, a change of referee. Stuart, um, I beg your pardon, uh, Colin Morris, the man in charge. David Campbell should have been the referee. And Colin Morris, uh, based at Huddersfield, but uh, an exile St. Helena. And as I've said before, we know it will sway his judgment. Saints with the penalty, the first tackle of the set of six. 
on the Leeds 20, Bobby Golding now with Andy Northy. Northy going through there, it takes uh, some attention of Jamie Field, one of the tacklers there. Is, it's now with Ian Pickavance. Pickavance with 11, Booth with 12. I think I gave it you the other way around before, but said moving to the left. Strong running. Scott Gibbs trying to squeeze in at the corner. Leeds move up quickly. Saints have got to spread it quickly. Try to beat the Leeds offside trap. Carl Hammond being forced back. Good pressure there by Leeds. The sixth and final tackle. Saints try to move it. Golden. Reverse angle chip, but it's too deep. It went too deep. Leeds did well there with Dud, the Saints barrage. And now Leeds will restart with a tap from the centre of the 20. Neil Harmon then just bringing the ball away. And interesting, Leeds covered that defence well there on that short side from Bobby Golding. He'll be the danger man as far as they're concerned. George Mann, former Saints favourite at number six this afternoon. Inside ball was from Schofield Road. A great tackle there coming in by number 12, Ian Pickerman's. And Mike Forshaw. Forshaw just feels the effects of that. Jamie Field runs up the field. Step for tap penalty. St. Helens penalised for being inside the 10 metres and a quick kick from Gary Schofield. Which leads on the attack just on that Saints 20 metre line. A good strong running from Harvey Howard. That's tremendous running from Harvey Howard to within five metres of the line. The lows find Schofield. Got the best of passes and Schofield as well to pick that up there. But it's a lovely ball out to man. And Leeds have meant to spare here. Oh, and it's not on the ball there. Wow, well, Leeds did not score and that set of six, I'll never know. They had five to two men overlap and still managed to make a pig's ear of that. Yes, George Mann running strongly there. We know what George can do in the standoff berth. 16, 16 and a half storm there and uh, Leeds with an overlap and they make a complete hash of it. Beavers at dummy half, sprinting to the halfway line, gave the dummy. Busby was the dummy runner, Beavers has to take the tackle on the halfway line. No score at present. Four minutes gone on the clock. The kick downfield from Bobby Golding into the Leeds 20. And obviously with the pie eaters winning at Warrington, Leeds need to uh, win this afternoon to be in with a chance. But uh, realistically, Stuart, uh, I think the league's gone uh, for Leeds. Certainly as for Saints. Yes, I think there's only one side going to win it said earlier for the seventh time in succession we're going to have a tremendous season once again only the two defeats as Leeds bring the ball away with Fallon quickly to his feet George Mann uh, acting half back Craig Innes has been out for a few weeks just uh, mistimed his run there early on now takes a tackle Jamie Field relentless workhorse for Leeds Jamie Field since he came into the side he's worked very very hard very impressed with his contribution for one so young Schofield now looks to the ball in, so at the moment it's a bit tip for tap with the kicks. That's not going to find touch, and a good kick and chase from Leeds is essential here. But it just rolls out, so it was a couple of inches short of being a perfect kick run. Yes, it certainly was. That uh, would have put pressure on the Saints. But Danny Arnold moving back there, and uh, metres of pace there with Arnold. But now it's Adam Fogarty. Well, he lost the ball. The touch judge uh, indicating to the referee, yes, we could pick that up there, a mistake on the first tackle by uh, Big Adam Fogarty. He clearly lost it, the referee was unsighted, the touch judge wasn't. Now going to be a scrum down, Leeds head and feed. Well, Leeds are looking for Schofield to put the ball in. Carl all interestingly moved into the uh, open side. Well, Leeds will use the open side play, George Mann just takes the ball forward on his own, Carl all. Look to go in acting half, but James Lowe's quickly beating him to it. Mike Forshaw almost through the tackle there and gets the ball away. That's better play from Leeds. All right now. Stepping, going himself. First touch of the ball for Graham Allroyd in the fullback role this afternoon. Lowe's spots a gap on the inside. Craig Innes coming back in there, turning the ball back inside for Innes. All right again with the football in his hands. Gives it to Schofield. Schofield. That's a lovely ball for Carl Hall. Carl Hall still going on his feet. Schofield takes it. That's the first try of the game. Cleverly worked move there to Leeds. Schofield's in with a try. Nice short ball for Carl Hall. Ankle tapped, not tackled properly, said the referee, and all was able to get up and carry on the movement. And that gave Gary Schofield a chance to go in for the try. And good play there from Gary Schofield, just looping round. So we've got uh, four minutes, six minutes on the clock. 
Schofield, as I say, is an exceptional player with plenty of foresight. Loop round him on the blind side, took the pass, and some say, uh, Saints were stretched and uh, in for the four points. Holroyd for the conversion. Graham Holroyd gives him one of the new kicking tees at Leeds that Paul Cook used to such good effect. Holroyd just sizing it up, and it's an important kick for Graham Holroyd. And it's a successful one, so superb start for Leeds then. Yes, that was uh, an excellent conversion to a, a good try. And Leeds kick off, being the scoring side under these new rules. Prescott inside to Northy. Northy goes crossfield. Moving over to that Danny Arnold wing, but good cover defence. Leeds come up in a blanket. And forced into touch on the far side. Danny Arnold, the man. Picked up bodily, dragged into touch. Good gang tackling there by Leeds Stewart. But now uh, you'll get to head and feed from the scrum. Yes, a bit of inexperience in Danny Arnold trying to take the men on on the outside. It is very, very slippy. And uh, Leeds had no hesitation there, just ganging up on the man and knocking him down. And if he's not happy with the scrum, scrum wheeling there as Leeds look to take advantage. Schofield then. This time I'm sure he'll make sure he does indeed. The ball out to Leeds, George Mann. All right in the line. Trying to thread his way through, all right. Good play from the youngster. Again, keeps the pressure on St. Ellen's. Leeds can go to the open side with James Laws. Finds in his juggling with the football. George Mann. And slipping down Leeds at the moment, just a little bit at sixes and sevens. All right with the ball in his hands. Finds Schofield, Schofield. Long ball out there for Jamie Field. Good ball out to Marley. Marley takes a tackle there and looking to offload James Lowe's goes himself at St. Ellen's man in an upside position was obstructing Leeds have had four tackles and around the Saints 10 metre line so Schofield with the ball in his hands finds Allroyd that misses Allroyd out and finds Forshaw and again Leeds have meant to spare up here but George Mann's going on the inside puts the ball back and St. Ellen's have it with Andy Northey good spot in there and if George Mann had to come to the open side Leeds had a chance there yes George Mann exposing a gap in the Saints defence Tried to uh, pass once too many. Leeds penalised for offside, much to the delight of the popular side faithful below us. But George Mann tried to squeeze it out. Saints nearly being exposed on the left. The pitch very soft. Obviously, we've had this cold spell five or six days. The Regal Trophy last Saturday was postponed till this Thursday here at Nosey Road against Warrington. The ground's been covered, and as you can see, the frost has come out of it, but the top section, very, uh, very slippy. Ian Pickavance drives it up. Viva's attacked in half. He moves it left. Busby runs out wide, tries to draw the Leeds defence in, has to take the tackle. And Saints making progress. Bobby Golden out to Steve Prescott. Both Prescott and Holroyd. Moving up into the back line, giving that extra dimension. Hammond up to the 20. Well, Leeds are going to be penalised this side for offside. Saints were looking for it before. Captain Gary Schofield going to be brought out to have a word with the referee Morris. Whether Schofield said something out of turn, we don't know. But obviously it's a penalty for offside. He's done Leeds for encroaching. He's certainly laying the law down. And uh, Bobby Golden with a chance for two points, with Leeds leading by six points to nil after 11 minutes. Leeds only one of the sides, one of the two sides to lower the pie eaters' colours this season. An excellent game it was over there at Eddingley. What was it, 26 11, Stuart, was it? But it was a great game. It wasn't, uh, there was no. Uh, controversy at all, it was a good win and then uh, obviously Oldham lowered the colours, they've only been uh, beaten twice, they've won at Warrington today we think uh, we'd, you'd put your money on them winning the league for the seventh time but anyway that's done and dusted Golden tries to squeeze it in but it just goes to the right hand side of the right hand post the chance going a begging but at least the Saints will get the ball back Leeds will drop out from the centre of the 20. Eric Hughes getting uh, two of his substitutes warming up, ready for action. The other two are down at the bottom. 
Got to keep them uh, warmed up. Still bitterly cold, even though uh, we have beaten the big freeze. Beavers attacked in half. Leeds move up quickly, as you'd expect them to. Closey and Pickavance down, and that's good gang tackling by Leeds. They're moving on Pickavance. Beavers changes the angle of attack, gives it to Fogarty. One man rugby at present, Saints have got to spread it. Now they move it out, Dean Busby losing his footing, as you can see, very slippy on top. Beavers again, Simon Booth. Well, the ball was lost there, it came back into Booth's possession. Once again, the touch should be unsighted, but to solid tackling there, Stewart. Sheer ferocity, shaking the ball out of Booth's hands. Yes, and a good decision there from the touch judge. He was right on the spot, and Booth did lose the ball. We gathered it again. Leeds impressed with the tackling so far this afternoon. And, uh, two old uh, mates just uh, working the feeding of the scrum today. Kerry Schofield and uh, Bobby Golding. They played a lot together for Leeds. Leeds fourth head and ball, clean head for them. And he's just battling up the middle of the field. That's good play from Leeds. Taking play almost up to halfway now. Drop off ball inside for Foreshaw. Foreshaw darting across, looking for a way through. Again, Leeds will use a short side with Adrian Morley's brother, of course. Places in Ellens out for the rest of the season with a broken thumb. Now Holroyd's into the first receiver position, so. That's come back to the referee. And Leeds lucky to get away with that one. One fails. We're up to the last tackle now. And Leeds go open with Holroyd. And Holroyd puts up the high spinning bomb. What oh, a great tackle coming in from George Mann there. Yes, well taken by Mike Riley under a lot of pressure. Awkward high ball from Holroyd as Prescott tries to steam away. But good cover defence there. Lowe's one of the tacklers in. The other Leeds man just uh, taking a knock. Adrian Morley, is it, that's uh, holding his shoulder. But Saints have the possession. Leeds are pegging him in their own 20. Dean Busby. And Beavers again. He wants a quick play of the ball. Andy Leatham straightens it up. Making his way into the first team squad, Leatham. Solid forward, grafter as Golden puts it downfield. Holroyd back there, takes it well, and then Saints defence comes up to meet him. That's good run out of defence, and Graham Holroyd falls for the first tackle. Marvin Golden now, quickly, a light-footed, stakes away, get away from Adam Fogarty. So Nellan's moving up quickly there, and Adrian Morley now just trying to make progress up the out wide, which is where he feels he'd had his best running. Just holding his arm, which has obviously been injured in that uh, skirmish earlier on. Neil Hammond it is who takes the ball forward. Now Schofield, now missing outfield and finds George Mann. Foreshot, Foreshot steps the cut back inside. And George Mann will find Schofield, and this time Schofield just bobs the kick in, standing in the hands of Mike Riley. Yes, Riley takes it well. Was on the last tackle, that kick, a poor kick by lead standards. And Harvey Howard holding the man just to uh, perfection there. Cries from the Saints faithful below us for holding. Scott Gibbs tries to move up forward, but three and four lead tacklers moving in. Golden, Busby running hard, turns it back to Beavers. Beavers out to Golden, through the legs, back to Ian Pickavance. Pickavance straightens up, drives it downfield. Ten metres into the Leeds half. Beavers, Golden along the line. Drop off ball to Hammond. Hammond nearly breaking through the tackle of Schofield. The last one of the sequence now with Saints in possession. Golden chips it for the corner. Danny Arnold's chasing it, it's a knock forwards, it's all on. Well, he'll, will he play? He'll play the first knockout, I think. Oh, he's given the turnover. Well, Leeds knocked it forward and uh, had uh, begged to differ with that decision, but it doesn't make any difference what we think. Leeds have the possession from the turnover. Well, Leeds probably consider themselves fortunate to be uh, in possession there. It looks as though Jim Fallon had knocked that ball. Schofield. George Mann now looking to go himself. 
Can Ladera, he's got Gamalvin Golden with him, puts that ball inside there. Carlo will pick up. That certainly went backwards. I don't know what the Sinellas crowd are complaining about there. Oh, spots a gap, goes himself from acting half, steps his way through. Holloway was on the wrong side there as far as uh, Rose was concerned. Mike Forshaw then picks up. It's a long ball out to Adrian Morley and leads. Hitting forward to attack now, Morley goes through, can't get the ball away in the tackles. Up to the last tackle now, so Fallon then will uh, bring that ball back inside for Allroyd. Allroyd finds Schofield. Leeds looking to run the football this time, Forshaw. George Mann, oh, the ball's gone back and Marvin Golden can pick up for Leeds. Takes a tackle, and the last tackle turnover, so not a good ball, so a couple of last tackle uh, mess-ups by Leeds there, which has cost them dearly. That ball's gone backwards, says the referee. That was one hell of a try-saving tackle there. Just took my eye off the player, I don't know that it was Simon Booth, but Saints lose possession. And Leeds back in with a sniff after Saints' defence was severely tested there. So Leeds again now, this time it's Tim Fallon running up on the... Far touch line side, just trying to knock out, gets away the ball, away the lows. But also on Ryder Schofield now coming away with the football, looking to put men through a gap there. That's Carlo. But not a good ball, Carlo in all sorts of trouble. The crowd going absolutely berserk about something. Harry Howard just straight through, gets it back to Schofield. So Leeds coming away again now. Good football from Leeds. James Lowe's looks to put Jamie Field through the gap. And Field tackled eventually by Fogarty. And number 11, Simon Booth. He's got, all right, puts a kick through himself. He's obstructed there. And that's kicked out in the dead ball area. Scott has all right put the kick through. So Leeds will again a possession from the dropout and a bit of panic there in the St. Helens defence run. Yep. Saints defence certainly being tested, Stuart, but standing up to the task. And uh, I know we're, we're both leaning a little bit to our respective sides, but certainly leads they're getting the rub of the green off this referee so far with a quite a few decisions but it's how it goes isn't it Stuart? yes you can only take what the referee gives you and uh, this time he's given leads the benefit of a drop out adrian morley runs the ball back and i think adrian morley he's going to have to come off the field injured again there uh, and leads moving the ball there must be something here Not playing the ball correctly, it's cost Leeds a try. Well, that's very unprofessional, Ron. Yes, uh, not playing the ball correctly. Ironic cheers from below, Stuart. Nothing more than can, you can expect. But obviously, you, uh, you've you got a good contingent in your south stand. Uh, very parochial, just the same as here, but a bad kick there. And Saints play on, and Leeds come up with the possession. Bad kick, and it's fallen in the possession now. Yes, Fallon gets the ball away to Innes, so a terrible kick from Leeds. I think Fallon thought that he was going to be a judge knocked on there, but it certainly went backwards. Leeds using that short side with Neil Harmon, just bumping men off, driving forward, Harmon. That's going to be a penalty to Leeds there. We'll be holding interfering with the play of the ball. Schofield looks to go himself. That's got a lovely ball for George Mann. Mann very strong going for the line. He's pulled down, he's a meter short. Leeds can have men to spare here. And again, not playing the ball correctly, it's cost Leeds a try run, that's very unprofessional. Yes, once again, George Mann was it the man that uh, judged it. George Mann was in the action. I mean, he's gone through there, it was excellent tackle by Nordy. And Gary Schofield, the captain, being walked another 10 metres for saying something out of turn to referee Morris. And we know how touchy these referees can be. But... The heat of the moment, things are said, and Saints withstanding the storm. Adam Fogarty did well there. You can see how lead they saw he hadn't got full control of the ball. They came into him quickly, but he stuck hold of it. Now he's with Busby. Leeds moving up exceptionally quickly. They've got to close the Saints down as the Saints try to get points on the board. Pick of hands. Eight metres short of the halfway line, still looking for the first points. Busby. Attracts a host of tacklers. Gary Schofield says good tackle to Harvey Howard. Hammond tried to draw the man on. Booth used as the foil. Prescott, the man that came up from fullback. Golden with the kick to Fallon's wing. Fallon looks to shake off Carl Hammond, managing it the first time and the second. 
Finish now, running out with the football. Again, breaks off the tackle of Carl Hammond. As Leeds looking now with the forwards with Neil Harmon. Straight forward, good running from Neil Harmon and a good tackle from young Andy Leatham. Well, Leeds with men to spare on that far side now, finding George Mann. George Mann still the gap and he's away up the touchline side. He hasn't got the pace. But George Mann certainly opens St. Helens up regularly with his running this afternoon. Scorefield again, finds Allroyd, Allroyd running up towards the defence with the football. Looks to go himself. Knocked down, we're on the last tackle now. The ball back in the arms of Schofield, so Schofield hoists the bomb. Leads all on side there. Escott takes the ball in his own in goal area, and that'll be a tap out, so good spell of defence again from Saints run. Yes, we certainly have had to defend Stewart, haven't we? But we start from the 20, and it's that man, ex-Saint, George Mann, who's certainly punching holes in the Saints defence. Excellent running from Big George. He's been Saint and Sinner, hasn't he? You could have had a couple of tries uh, where uh, Mann's not played the ball correctly, but he's, uh, he's strong running, characteristic of his uh, days at St. Helens. Ian Pickavance, just short of the halfway. Saints looking to introduce Via Metautia, stripped off just in front of us Saints read it Northey tries to beat the uh, oncoming Leeds defence Jamie Laws wraps him up there holding on too long is the uh, decision Harvey Howard the man uh, penalised and Andy Leatham Looks as though he's took a, a knock to the leg. Going to be replaced by Via Metautier. <laughs> 24 minutes gone. Via Metautier. Been out injured. Along with uh, his countryman, Perolini. Saints build up again, looking to get points on the board. Northey running hard and strong. And that's a big tackle there from Jamie Field. Nothing that to Northey can't withstand as Fogarty coming on up to the drop-off ball from Carl Hammond. Saints up to the Leeds 20. Golden trying to run the angles. Matautia, the man, fresh man on. Howard in with the tackle. Jamie Fields took a knock, but it's Saints. Golden, and Golden has to kick it through. Bobby Golden grubbing it for the corner. Marvin Golden kicked it dead. And Saints, there, Stewart, putting pressure on the Leeds line. Yes, good bit of uh, reverse pressure put on there after uh, Leeds. Great uh, favourite with the crowd, Matautia. Ran very hard into Jamie Field there, and uh, Leeds youngster feeling the effects of that tackle. And Leeds in his will be dropping out. Graham Allroyd has the ball under the post now. That's a long spinning kick. That's a good kick. And it's over the head of Prescott. Yes, a superb kick that to make Steve Prescott turn round to gather it. Leeds able to come up. First man in there. Craig Innes forces Prescott back. Saints through Scott Gibbs. Spread it out. Danny Arnold has the ball now. Jamie Laws. James Laws in with the tackle. Now it's Fogarty. Another man back after injury. Beavers. Golden. Golden with the dummy. Ten metres in the Leeds half. Superb tackling as Beavers tries to draw the defence. Over the top to Busby. Now with Northey. Mike Riley couldn't take it. Saints keep it going. Players allowed to go on. Matautier. Reverse angle from Busby. Busby hacks it on. Busby follows it up. Schofield gathers it. Oh, and Schofield taking over his own line. Saints putting the pressure there and putting pressure on Leeds. Come on, you Saints is the cry from the popular side faithful. A little bit of flair there, Stewart. Very fortunate, perhaps, here to keep the ball alive. But obviously, with the wet conditions, forcing Schofield over the line. Yeah, fortune favours the brave, and St. Helens are playing some superb football. And Jamie Field is having to leave the field for Leeds. Fozard comes on. And St. Helens running the football back now with Ian Pickervance. Big hit there from James Laws. Yes, good tackling there by Leeds. Saints keep it going. Fozard in on Fogarty. Just come on to replace Jamie Field. 
who took that uh, big knock as Matautia came through. But Saints seem to have the bit between the teeth now. They've got that bit of life that they needed. The trailing six points to nil, 27 minutes gone. Matautia took it well, but he's well marshaled by Innes on the far side. V um, yes, Vivas moves it blindside. Short ball there to Arnold. Arnold chips it in field, but the touch judge has his flag up on the far side. Difficult conditions to try and keep him field, Stewart, on the uh, touch line. And uh, once again, Arnold forced him to touch. Yes, he did the right thing there with uh, trying to go for the corner. He's flipped the ball back inside, but the touch judge said his foot was on the line as he passed the ball. So Gary Schofield in a great game in here at St. Ellen's this afternoon. What a tremendous game. Schofield works the feed for Leeds and out to Jim Fallon. 6-0 now the scrums and 7 won the penalties to St. Ellen's. So possession certainly been uh, at even Stevens. Oh, and Innes looking to offload the ball, has lost it in the tackle, and now St. Allen's coming away with Prescott. Steve Prescott just held short, has good tackling made, and he's losing the ball, saves it for the try! Good work there! Carl Hammond, the man, I think, that's in for the try! And that's going to level the scores up when the conversion comes. 29 minutes gone, and Carl Hammond is the man that went in for the four-pointer. Prescott gathered it up, he drove through the Leeds defence, he was brought down a metre short, and then from the acting half-back position, Carl Hammond saw the Leeds were a little bit of disarray, he drove for the line, and with the slippy conditions, he went over. Good tackling in the first place, Stewart, they shoot the ball out, but uh, excellently finished. Yes, well finished there. Leeds did well to uh, stop uh, Steve Prescott in the first place. And as the defence moved out, the sliding defence moving across, Carl Hammond noticed the gap was there and managed to dive over and use the wet conditions to slide over. Golden converts. That's six all. Lead six, St. Helen six. Yes, lead six and telling six, as Stewart says. Carl Hammond's seventh try of the season and Bobby Golding there with his 91st plus 13 uh, for England and a drop goal as well. And now Bobby Golden will kick off with the Saints scoring there. The score's all tied. Six points apiece, ten minutes in the first half to go. Yes, player, right on the half hour as Bobby Golden gets the game restarted. Gary Schofield stops the ball with his foot. We'll bring Adrian Morley running out. That's a good run out from young Marlin. Leeds getting over the 20-metre mark there. George Mann again, he's caused St. Ellen's difficulties running out wide, but a good tackle this time, I think, from uh, Dean Busby. Carl Hall, not seen a lot of him this afternoon, apart from the pass out of the tackle. Please get the penalty, St. Ellen's offside, an ironic chase from the lead section of the crowd. That's Leeds' second penalty of the game. And James Laws quickly up. Now, Leeds would love to hit back straight away now. And Harvey Howard charges up to the 20 metres, good driving there from the big prop. Neil Hammond will carry that on now, run straight at Vivas, straight through Vivas. And the defence in Agnum Fogarty coming back, knocking him down. All right. Heinz George Mann. George Mann for Forshaw. Forshaw steps out of one tackle, can't get out of another. That's good defending leads have lost ground there. Fozard. Just ploughing his way forward, five, six metres from the line. James Lowe's acting half-back. Finds all right again. All right, stepping. Looks to go himself, all right. Can't get the ball away. Running with the football just again. Five metres short, we're on the last tackle now. So what will get his Schofield though? What's the kick through there? That's for Leeds to chase. That's for Carl Hall. Oh, and just kicked out dead there. And St. Ellens will have to drop out under their own post. So Carl Hall just unlucky not to get the fingers on that run. He certainly was. What a, what a game though, Schofield's having, as you say. Uh, I mean, he certainly is Mr. Leeds. He injects uh, the pace into Leeds. And uh, Hall chasing it through there from obviously a planned move. And I think it was Mike Riley that got the kick away and he did well. Leeds will get possession from the dropout. All right, brings Forshaw on the burst then. Forshaw right back up to again that 20 metres. He's lost the football on the first tackle. That's a bad mistake. Leeds have been dealing with that on occasions this afternoon. Making a mistake. Two tries at least have been lost through not playing the ball correctly. Now Mike Forshaw couldn't take the ball in the tackle and St. Ellens will have possession from the scrum. Yes, uh, obviously a, a let off for, for Saints as they come up with scrum possession. But that's going to be the order of the day, obviously keeping a grip of the ball. Difficult handling conditions, as we can see. The ground cutting up a little bit. 
Scott Gibbs not been involved greatly in this afternoon's clash so far as Vivas drives it away met by a cluster of Leeds tacklers and Vivas relishes it doesn't he as Golden runs the angle Simon Booth oh running on but that's a superb tackle by Schofield Prescott brings it blindside no they'll have to go in field too slippy here along the uh, touchline Golden again Drives the ball through, puts pressure on Holroyd, he takes it well. Golding goes up to meet him, and he completes the tackle. Yes, Holroyd just couldn't get away from Golding there. Marvin Golden will run the football now. And Leeds under real pressure now on their own 20 metres, but in possession. Hozard. Straight into Mataltia. Mataltia coming back with a bang this afternoon, he said. Morley. Leeds looking to work the ball away using the forwards. Harry Howard will drive forward. Oh, and he's still there. He's got Fallon inside him. He's running away from his support though. Fallon was on the inside. Harvey Howard was coming across the field with the ball in the wrong side. James Lowe's puts up the bomb. Leeds chasing all on side. Owen oh, Ellen's doing well to keep the ball in play, Ron. Yes, uh, fortunate there, perhaps Mike Riley. An awkward ball. The Saints let it bounce. Riley come up with it at the second attempt. And Riley again try to uh, break through as Leeds keep the Saints pegged at 10 metres from their own line. Fogarty. Great running there, centre field by Harvey Howard. Heard you say Harmon was a St. Helens lad. Howard is a St. Helens lad as well, Stuart. His dad, De Brian, played in the Cup final for Saints in 1956. But Saints lose in possession. Leeds gather it in a dangerous position. Hagen, he did well there, came away, still going in his camp, play the ball to himself, of course, now, so the ball's in the arms of Schofield, puts a kick through Schofield, Prescott's going to... Schofield gets the try, the referee's disallowed the try, and says that St. Helens can have a tap out on the 20 metre as well, a strange decision there again from Colin Morris. Yes, uh, maybe controversial, as the ball was kicked through by Schofield, he followed it up, Steve Prescott, whether he touched it, well, he couldn't have, couldn't have been a judge to have touched it down, could he, Stewart? Uh, uh, Schofield went in, he looked as though he got down with pressure on it. The ball squirted dead, and uh, referee right on the job, but he ruled it out and said three started from the centre of the 20. So obviously, he's a judge that Schofield had knocked the ball dead. Bit of controversy, not make any difference as Pickervan stri strides through. Taken down by Farshaw. Saints bring it blindside. Hammond turns it inside to Busby. Busby flicks it out to Matautia. Matautia straight forward. Runs, slips it out of the back door. Saints keep it going. Steve Prescott out to Danny Arnold. Arnold down the wing. Inside ball. Taken well by Prescott. The pass ruled forward. Well, both me and Stewart look at each other. The pass was ruled forward. The referee... Puts the scrum down with a Leeds feed, never forward in the memory of man, Stewart. No, it was a perfectly good inside ball, was that? Uh, Craig Innes did ever so well to tackle the man who caught the ball. But uh, Leeds have certainly uh, missed out on some chances. And they'll be happy with the fact that they're in possession. Graham Alroy just stepping in. Oh, good tackle coming in there from Scott Gibbs. Laws again and leads at sixes and sevens now. And that's a high tackle, that's got to be a penalty. Number 12 there, the Bull Red Eye. The score for a fine touch for Leeds and pushing on the attack again, right up again. The St. Helens 30 metre line. Neil Armand driving the ball forward. Over that 20 metre mark, so that's good running from Leeds, and I'm sure Schofield will look to bring on Harvey Howard. In fact, he misses him out and brings on Nick Fozard. And St. Helens again find themselves where they've been for most of this half, defending in their own quarter. They've done it superbly well. In his 10 metres from the St. Helens line now, Adrian Morley in it, acting half back. Knocks on acting half back. What on earth was Adrian Morley doing acting half back in that situation? That's got to be a mistake from Leeds to allow a man 
there was no experience of being in acting half back to get there on that situation 10 meters from the line leads give leave another error that could have cost them a try there on it certainly could but the Saints defense has only been breached once it's easy for us to criticize you up here Stewart about the man in the middle but he's not having the best of games so far Tackling between the legs was the indication. Well, there's a high tackle there. And if that wasn't a high tackle, and we're talking about high tackle down here, but the Leeds men are judged of holding the man down and another penalty to the Saints. And certainly the game just warming up a bit with some of the decisions in the last five minutes. Two minutes to the interval. Finally poised this game, six points apiece. Pickavance striding through. Midway between the halfway and the Leeds 20. With Saints in possession. Hammond, short ball to Busby. Oh no, they took it well. Good tackle by uh, the loose forward uh, for Sean Busby. Saints ball is knocked back. Fogarty kept it going, lovely hands there. Prescott inside to Matautia. Matautia unloads. Saints keep it going, basketball style. Saints still have the possession. It's getting a little bit uh, sloppy. Schofield very heavily involved there. And so, well, it looked a little high. George Mann going over there. Nothing malicious there, I don't think, Stuart, even though it was a little high. That's yeah, just uh, skirting on the outside, swerving round Busby. George Mann this time in the tackle a bit high. But it'll give St. Helens a chance to take the lead just on half time. And uh, Gary Schofield again, I've been words to say to the referee, and he's been warned again by the referee, and I can think that Gary Schofield may spend a spell in the symphony if he's not careful. Well, Stuart, I hope they don't send him off. We know what happened last time they got sent off at uh, Edinley and you wiped the floor with us in the, was it the Premiership playoff? Uh, you came out with 11 men and uh, you, you certainly stuffed us in the early minutes of the second uh, half and we never recovered from that after uh, building up quite a healthy lead. But he'll have to watch what he's doing. I mean, uh, tempers uh, get a little frayed and what have you. But uh, you've got to try and uh, curb, curb your temper, haven't you? Easier said than done, Stuart, isn't it? Uh, as Bobby Golding now looking uh, to put the Saints in the lead. Yes, Golding line a kick up and no, certainly no New Year spirit. This is a tremendous game. In fact, it's a better game than we could hope to expect on these circumstances. In down until nine o'clock this morning, but what a great game. Golding then. <laughs> and Leeds in possession. There goes a hooter for half time. And a three. He's calling players back because it's a penalty to Leeds. Oh, in his kicks for touch. And Leeds will tap the football. What will they do? Will they try and run it out? James Lord takes a penalty. It's time to go for the, the half-time oranges. Leeds then, six, St. Helens six, leads at a try to Gary Schofield and six minutes after good work from Carl Hall. Holroyd converted from the touchline, six all, and then Saints had a try, Carl Hammond. After good work from Steve Prescott, Kerr Guinness losing the ball as he was running out of defence. 29 minutes, Golden converted, six to Le Leeds, six to St. Helens. back on the pitch with the score finally balanced six points apiece and uh, I'm sure a pulsating 40 minutes in prospect before we get underway of a get well message get well soon to Beth Shuttleworth she's in intensive care in Wiston Hospital she's due to be moved into a ward any time now she had a heart attack last Friday both Beth and her husband Ed stand in the paddock on the halfway line We've heard she's over the worst, uh, we hope she is over the worst, but uh, if she's listening to today's match, I'm sure she might get a little flutter. Anyway, uh, we believe uh, she was in a bad way, she was brought back to life twice, she's certainly a tough nut, so get well soon, Bet. Lots of love, as I said, from your husband, Ed, your son, Ian, 
his lady friend Pam, all here at the Saints, all of us at Micron, and I'm sure Stuart, my co-commentator today, have put his two penneth in, so get well soon, Beth Shuttleworth. Saints coming out now, leads on the pitch, exciting first half, Stuart, and uh, we look forward to more of the same, don't we? Yes, not a lot in it, nip and tuck all the way through, a lot of defence from St Ellen's, which they perform well, and leads big defence in the middle of the field, some tremendous uh, tackling from both sides, so... It's going to be Leeds to kick off. Leeds is playing left to right now. Down the slight slope here at Nosley Road. 6 0 after 40 minutes. What a great game. It certainly is. And good work there. Saints pick up the ball in their own in goal area off a very hard kick from the centre spot. Andy Norley driving it forward. Lowe's, one of the tacklers there. Fogarty now bringing it up. Innes, along with Morley. Matautia has to take the tackle. Nothing fancy. Got to hold the ball. Very slippy conditions, as we know. As Pickavan drives it up. And Harvey Howard putting plenty of beef into the tackle, along with Fozard. Last tackle of the sequence, and Golden puts it deep. We'll let it go, and it's taken by Marvin Golden. Golden gets up to the 20 metres before he's brought down. Good cover tackling from Carl Hammond. George Mann now running the ball out. Fogarty in at the tackle. Fallon now spots the gap, goes himself. The match in half, straight through two, three tackles. Straight through four tackles, gives the ball to Lowe's. Lowe's finds Hall. And Hall still going now. Marvin Golden had come inside, so there was no one out on the wing for Carl Hall, but Leeds bringing the ball away. That's good football from Leeds. All right, in the standoff position. Cuts through the gap. It's a ball away to George Mann. That's good play, and he's through the gap. Still going in, he's stepping inside. Going, he's going to score, and he's... Well, all of St. Helens' defence got in the way of each other. Lovely play from Graham All right. Tremendous play from Graham All right. Took the men on, got the ball out of the tackle. George Mann did the rest, and Innes in from 30 yards with St. Helens' players. Knocking each other out of the way there, run. Well, that was excellently finished by Innes. There's no danger about that. But good work. Uh, initially started in, in uh, the lead zone half by Fallon. He took it well. He broke through three and four tackles. Slipped the ball on. The leads moved it over to the left. And then it came back over here to uh, in front of our commentary position. And Innes took it well. Jinked in and out. And outpaced the uh, Saints defence. A great start to Leeds, just what Dean Bell wanted there, uh, Stuart. Yes, I'm sure that's what I wanted to start this second half. Graham Allroy did very, very well there. He took the ball on, ran. He's so dangerous when he runs with the football. He's about to attempt to convert this, which if he does, will give Leeds a 12 points to 6 lead. That's successfully through the middle. Yes, Allroy converts it. Tackling's going to be the name of the game. Hughes will have messages down there to ground level to tighten the defence up, but a great try by Leeds, and they take the lead by 12 points to six. Oh, yes, Saints will, uh, Saints will get possession from the kickoff. And Leeds follow up quickly, try to put pressure on Saints, force them into an error. And in all they looking for space, he's got to keep clear. Of the slippy wings. Beavers dummy half. Saints bring the ball up to their own 20. Leeds moving up quickly as you'd expect them to be. They've got to try and close the Saints down as Fogarty forces his way forward. Harvey Howard in at the tackle and Saints with a little bit of space out here on the left. Gibbs, Gibbs up the wing. Lovely ball there to Arnold. Arnold takes it well. Fallon comes in for the tackle. And Arnold tucks his legs in. Gibbs wants a quick play of the ball. Saints making 50 metres upfield. Golden chips it. Simon Booth is chasing it. Marvin Golden gathers it. And Booth closes him down. Saints will have to come in as Golden tries to edge forward. Great work by the Saints. Tidied up by Leeds. Yes, they did very well there, St. Helens. Moving that ball have been pinned for four tackles within 25 metres of the line. Spun that ball out on the fifth tackle. And now it's Fozard's turn to drive forward for Leeds. And St. Helens in danger here have been all caught offside, but Fozard couldn't get the ball played quickly enough. Harmon 
takes the ball forward to Leeds at the moment, just playing one off the rook stuff and bringing the forwards down the field. Now it's Gary Scofield with the ball in his hand. What's the kick in? That's not going to find touch, and Adrian Wall is chasing Steve Prescott. Schofield up there quickly for his own kick. That's the last play from Gary Schofield. Yes, he covered up well. The Steve Prescott was taken. Leeds pegged for not lining up correctly at the play of the ball. I thought the referee was going to peg him for offside, but he's uh, pegged him for not lining up correctly as Bobby Golding finds touch just to the right of our commentary position. 12-6 to score, five minutes into the second half. One minute and 45 seconds it took uh, Leeds, courtesy of Innes, to score in the second 40. And now Saints looking to spread it. Took them two, three, I think it was on the fourth tackle before they spread it last time, but great work up the wing, and Saints want more of the same. The team want more of the same, and the Speckies want it as well. But Leeds getting their, their act together after a few indifferent performances, losing five in the league. The Saints move it left, Hammond. Gibbs with a loose bandage there, as Matautia drives the ball forward, slips the ball out. Not the best of passes, but tidied up by Ian Pickavance. Pickavance shapes the tacklers off, slips it to Busby. Busby changes direction. Well, that's a good tackle there. Well, they didn't look anything in that. Too. Obviously, Busby's hit hurt there, but I was watching uh, one of the tacklers. There was two moved in, and he's bringing somebody out. Is he going to speak to Neil Harmon? No, it's Harvey Howard. Uh, first uh, initial thoughts there, Stuart. Didn't look a lot in the tackle. It's not a good uh, tackle. I don't think Busby will find his uh, in the facial area. A good uh, tackle, but uh, St. Helens will take retribution, and I'm sure Bobby Golden will have a kick for goal, which is uh, as you'd expect. So Saints have the penalty. Bobby Golden uh, going to look to put two points on the board for the Saints. Busby receiving treatment from Jeanette Smith. Taking a bit of time for get up, so whether it was a high tackle, but it certainly knocked the stuffing out of him. And that's what we're here for. We're playing body contact sport, high speed collision, rugby league, top class here at Nosey Road. And we're not punting about with a round ball game, are we? This is the oval ball, and uh, we certainly uh, know how to tackle. And there's been some hard hits there uh, on the park as Golden tees it up. That looks as though it's going to be between the uprights, it certainly is. Saints pegged two points back. Seven minutes into the second half. A Bobby Golden uh, penalty conversion. Gives the score now. Saints eight, Leeds 12, and Leeds will get possession from the kickoff. Thank you, Ron. Well, Leeds paying the penalty. The uh, penalty count is uh, astronomical at the moment. It's 12 4, and in that four, of course, was the one that uh, was given to Leeds after the Hooter had gone, which was about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. So. Golden gets the game restarted, and Marvin Golden running out from right in his own corner up to the 20 metre mark. Fozard. Just bumping down Matauti in with the knees there. And James Lowe's just pointing that fact out to the referee. Schofield, Morley. Morley up to now. 10 metres inside the lead half of the field. All right, looks to bring on Mike Forshaw. Forshaw, there was a gap there, and the gap opened up. And Forshaw couldn't take it, Leeds. Not making any ground. Harmon. Innes gets Fallon away now on the touchline side. Fallon coming in. And back on that, six more tackles in Leeds now. Schofield. Puts Fozard through the gap. Good tackle though again. It's out here with the knee as Fozard goes down. Six more tackles to lead, so a little bit of luck. Fortune favouring the liners at that time. George Mann. That's out for Carl Hall. Leads 30 metres from the St. Helens line now with four tackles to go. What can they do? They can get the ball into the arms of Harvey Howard who'll drive forward. Right into that 20 metres. That's good running there from the Leeds prop. Close carrying on from Action half, looking to thread his way through himself. It's the ball away to Howard, who was stood still not expecting the football, all right. Looking to go through himself, held up just short, Graham, all right. Five metres short now, Leeds. Men to spare on the short side, can they get the ball played quickly enough? 
kick through comes. Oh, and Chanella's get the ball away, so Pozard it was who kicked through there. And really, Leeds not making the best use of the tackling on the line. Yes, Fozard there, good work, I thought, with the speculator. Couldn't follow it up, Saints gathered it cleanly. Bring the ball up to the 20, Leeds are penalised. And Saints capitalising on that kick to touch. And up to the halfway line, Andy Dorthy. And he knows one way, runs hard and strong. The Saints spectators get behind their charges. Respect of possession is going to be paramount. Difficult handling conditions with Fogarty up the middle. Beavers attacked in half. Goal in takes charge, moves it left. Short ball to Busby. Busby slips it out. Fallon has it. Sid tried to keep it moving, but it went to Fallon and all that hard work just going to naught. Good well, Agent Fallon spotted what was happening and just uh, the ball falls out now. High tackle from Carl Hammond. As we've seen, they don't have to be malicious to be classed as high. Well, a poor pass there from Schofield, who was all at sixes and sevens. Harvey Howard's coming off now. Got a knock, so Barry McDermott will come on for the line as Carl Hall. Leads up to the last tackle. I'm not sure that Laws is aware that it's the last tackle. Dancy's through Laws. He's got George Mann. Can't get the ball away, puts it out to Fallon. Fallon will pick that ball up. It is the last tackle and Fallon's held up there. Oh, not going to be the turnover and St. Ellens will have position again quickly with Prescott. Yes, it's when he caught the Vitalia moved out to the line. Laws went through. The Saints uh, held Leeds as Laws slipped the ball out. And Leeds taking on the last tackle. And said from the turnover, approach the halfway line. Bobby Golden trying to move forward, hands and knees, but well taken down. Said spread it out, keep the ball alive. Ian Pickabance out of the tackle. Pickabance hits the straps again. And it hold right to beat. Side step from Pickabance. Beavers was with him. Well, there's a little bit of hunky panky. Somebody's going to the sim video. Going to the sin bin, a professional foul. Saints could have been in there for six points. Holroyd asking the question, but Harmon going to the sin bin. Twelve minutes into this uh, second half. Saints making a substitution. Dean Busby. Being replaced by Gareth Cunningham. So Leeds are going to be reduced by one. But a professional foul there as Pickavance moved upfield, was in struck within striking distance. And then Leeds pay the penalty. Can Saints capitalise on the one man advantage? As I was saying to Stuart before, when Schofield was getting a little bit. Uh, Humpty, I hope they didn't send him off. Can it work in Saints' favour now with the extra man? Who knows? As Golden was so misses the uh, target. Great work initially by Pickavance that led the Saints to that position. But Prescott being forced back by Innes. Gareth Cunningham. Played well at Wigan at Boxing Day. Did Gareth Cunningham in the hooker's role. And I would imagine now that uh, young Cunningham will go to the hooker's role. Beavers in at loose forward. Blindside ploy. Matautia up the blindside. Trips it to Gibbs. Gibbs inside to Gareth Cunningham. Oh, and the referee's given a forward pass. Golden is incensed. He's steaming over there and then he thinks twice about it and comes back. Well, that's debatable whether it was a forward pass or not. As you say, it's went upfield. Good blindside ploy. It'll not matter what we think, Stuart, will it? But scrum down, leads feed. Yes, difficult one to call that. I'll only say this in the favour of Colin Morris, that he was in a good position to spot it that time. 
and leads down lane down the middle of the field with the Mike Forshaw. Carl Hammond tackling him in the middle of the field. Matt Dermott, first touch of the football for him, he just uh, comes forward, gets up quickly, plays the football. Blows again, finds Schofield. Schofield dodging, waving, nowhere to go at all this time. That's good defence from St Helens. And really Leeds could do with scoring at this situation when uh, they have a man off the field. Schofield quickly to his feet. Not quickly enough for the Saints fans. Morley. Lost the football. Yes, and Saints back with the ball and looking for the action. Leeds making a mistake as they move downfield. But Saints desperately unlucky minutes ago and looking to bring it cross field. Good hand by Beavers. Oh, the lap for the Saints. They've got to move it out. Arnold puts the gas pedal down. Inside pass to Prescott. Prescott with Hammond. Prescott chips it. Arnold's chasing it. Oh, and hold on, gets back and kicks it dead. The Saints move the full 90 metres upfield. Great work there by the Saints. Leeds moved up quickly. They tried to close the Saints down. Saints capitalised on Leeds moving onto the line. They had an overlap on the left. Good running from Arnold. Excellent work from Prescott. Good cover defence by Holroyd Stewart. He's playing well, isn't he? Yes, he's playing well because it's his first appearance at fullback. Matauti now puts the hammer down. Great running there. But it's Matauti that takes the ball up. And Saints now, they need the points. They're trailing by four. Golden sees the line. Well, he took a nod there, did Golden. As the new man came in there. Saints moving across field. Ian Pickervance releases it. Saints keep it going. It's on to Andy Norley on the far side. Saints again, going close to the line. Super tackling by Leeds, forced the Saints back. The last tackle of the sequence. Can the Saints spread it along the line? A reverse angle kick, it's such a Leeds man, is it all on? Saints are playing on, Saints have touched down. The ball's not forward. That's Matt Dermott that's come on for you, isn't it, uh, Stuart? It looks like him. That's Matt Dermott on for Harry Howard, who has a leg injury. it. Harvey Golden then running the football out. The Leeds have survived. So far without Neil Hammond for about five minutes. Mick Shaw's on the field now. Innis down the middle of the field. And this time it's Adrian Marley coming off, which will put James Lowe's in the second row. Mick Shaw's on at Ucker for Leeds now. Shaw to Matt Dermott, the two cleanest men on the pack. Matt Dermott takes play 30 metres from the line, so Leeds at last starting to put something together. Schofield finds all right, all right, through the gap, still going all right. It's a ball out there. Oh, Lowe's knocks over the line on. Oh, disappointment for Leeds again. I thought the Oracle had worked there. Adrian Morley coming off, looks like he's hurt his arm. And Mick Shaw has replaced him for Leeds. So Leeds struggling now with the substitute situation. It's, uh, not Anthony Gibbons, it's Mick Shaw that's on. There's one thing, uh, Stuart, it's end-to-end -end stuff, isn't it? There's no danger about that. There's some exciting rugby being served up uh, for the clients that have braved, obviously, the weather. Saints have the possession. They trail by four. 12 points to eight the score. Scott Gibbs, tireless runner. Simon Booth checking the uh, Leeds defence on. Saints move it up to the halfway line. Golden now. Shaw ball taken by Fogarty. Fogarty bursts out. Fogarty again. Oh, Matautia couldn't take it. Fogarty should have kept going. He had Bill Matautia with him. And somebody said something out of turn. Obviously, it's Matautia remonstrating with the referee. He thought he was held back, but uh, maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Go, uh, Fogarty bursting through the leads at the penalty and uh, Schofield finds touch to the left of our position. Certainly a big game this afternoon here. St. Helens, McDermott, 
straight through a couple of St. Helens players. Hoggart is one of them, he's on the floor. Schofield now moves that ball out for man. Leeds coming up towards halfway. Inside ball there was for Carlo. That was good work play from man and Carlo. Mitchell in acting half. Scoots goes himself. Oh, he's through the gap, Mitchell. Now he's got Prescott chasing him. Prescott's got pace. And brings Mitchell down. Good play from Leeds, though. George Mann back to all right, all right. Long ball out there for Schofield. Schofield switching inside for James Lowe's. Lowe's is going. Heading for the line, James Lowe's. Five metres short. Great play from Leeds. This time it's Marvin Golden. Finds all right. All right. Looks for the run around with Schofield. Wants to kick through. That's got to be a knock on there. Be a knock on, and Leeds should have Edin Ball at the scrum. He's given it to, uh, well, it was the first knock on, I would have said there, the Leeds, the ball was knocked down by St. Ellen's man, so that's a strange decision. But nothing more than we can expect, Stuart, is it? Just less than 20 minutes to go, Leeds are down to 12 men, Harmon still in the sim bin, he's looking to come on. And Bobby Golden lost possession, it certainly looks as though he had from our position, but Fazard comes up with it, and now Leeds on the attack. Yes, Leeds on the attack again there, so Golden, a big mistake from the scrum. Can Leeds take advantage? They've struggled so far this afternoon. Just go close to the line. And George Mann again has not played the ball correctly. Well, would you believe it? Three times he's not done that now, and three times with Leeds a yard from the line. Yes, bad play by George Mann. Obviously, the lead spectators and Stuart here will probably be steaming. Obviously, it lets the Saints off the hook a little. And a good kick finds touch midway between the halfway and the Saints 20. Mick Shaw, since he came on, he's an exciting player, slipped into the hooker's role, and he nearly scooted in at the corner. Good cover defence by the Saints, saved the day. Saints have the possession, they've got to respect the possession. Unfortunately, as I've said before, it's very slippy out there. Here, Pickavance moves up to the halfway. Shaw, one of the tacklers, along with Lowe's. Gets through some tackling, does Lowe's. Now it's Golden. Golden chips it, takes the ball, feeds it inside for Booth. Booth going for the line. Oh, just trying to pass it. And had the ball wrenched out of his hands as he tried to squeeze it out. But good defence by Leeds. Just pull the arm away there, Leeds. All right, bringing the ball away. Well, he's back up to full complement now with Neil Harmon back on the field. And Nick Fozard drives out for the liners. So, can Mixhaw, will he scoop from acting half again? Mixhaw, he gives it to Gary Schofield. Schofield's balls for Mann. Mann looks to go himself, puts Carl all the way down the far side now. All's got men there in support. Oh, and all's in for a try. Well, that's a great try to Leeds. I thought Steve Prescott had the legs there. Wrong. Oh, Carl Hall. He's not the fastest of men. In fact, Gary Mercer, perhaps uncomplimentary, said he runs like a little pig when he's running away from market. His legs go 90 to the dozen, but he certainly had the legs on Steve Prescott there. Yes, he did well, but good work by Leeds. Built up in their own half. Schofield, the man, moved it over to the left. Slipped it to Hall. Prescott looked as though he had the measure of Carl Hall. He went in for the tackle. Unfortunately, Hall just pushed him off and he was allowed to squeeze into the corner. All that hard graft by the Saints as they withstood the Leeds barrage. Hall goes to North and Leeds extend their lead by four, make it 16 points to eight. But it certainly is an exciting game. We've still pretty fur time with 17 minutes of the game to go. But obviously it gives Leeds, the Liners, that little bit of breathing space, Stuart, doesn't it? Yes, good play by Leeds. Unfortunately, Holroyd couldn't convert it. Still an exciting game, good running out there on Ron Wide. George Mann, uh, uh, as, uh, as I've said before, Saint and Sinner. Perhaps three times, Leeds could have been over. Saints coming close on a few occasions, not being able to penetrate the Leeds try line, but uh, a good long range try we can set there. Some good running by the Saints as they break through from the kickoff. And in all the tireless runner, awkward ball, well taken there by the Saints. As they try to move it left. Steve Prescott, no beg your pardon. It was Mike Riley, the man that was coming cross field. Leeds know they were in a sniff of two points. They have a Regal Trophy commitment this uh, Saturday.
televised tie against the old pie eaters at Central Park and they're looking forward to a big game today and it's certainly been a big game for both teams Saints still with quite a few players out on the injured list and Saints up for orders on Friday in front of uh, Uncle Morris and his tribe for fielding a Wheaton side against uh, Wigan on Boxing Day but played by St Helens there and uh, Jim Fallon running across the face of his post Marvin Golden just looking to take the pressure off the forwards by working his way downfield. Make sure Skunks from acting half. And Pick of who wasn't marking square at the scrum has been uh, allowed to get away with that one. And but have been very impressed this afternoon with Ian Pick of for St. Helens. Good play back from Fozard there. All right now, down the middle of the field, still going all right. Great ball from Schofield there. It's a whole right. Paddy McDermott, former Wigan, and he won't be liked here this afternoon, but he's done a good job for Leeds. He's taken the ball to the 20 metres, and the ball's now in the hands of Gary Schofield. Schofield tries to drop goal, it just goes wide. Right thing to do on the last tackle, and just shrugs his shoulders, Gary Schofield, but the right thing to do on the last tackle. 67 minutes on the clock, then plenty of time for St. Ellens to win this game, and for Leeds to throw it away. Scott Gibbs, it is bringing the ball out, and makes a good 10 metres. Adam Fogarty coming off, Andy Haig being introduced. Done some tireless work as Fogarty, coming back after injury. Haig right into the action, well that looked a little high on Haig from Lowe's. But he withstood the pressure, and Saints trying to move it out, Hammond, Pickavance. Booth coming up there, Pickavance still pumping the legs, still driving away. From acting halfback, Gareth Cunningham. The nephew of Kieran Cunningham, the son of Eddie Cunningham, that once uh, played up there at Edinburgh in this Stewart. Testing ball taken by Graham Holroyd. Holroyd runs it out and he's clattered for his pains. Yeah, good run out there. Well took by Graham Holroyd. No option but to run back behind his own post. Run away from the Saints. Tackle. Oh, that's a high tackle from Matout here. And he's going to be pulled out there because that was a vicious high tackle. That wasn't uh, like the George Mann one. Just uh, slip there, that's ticking the player down, but uh, he's a tough nut, Marvin Golden, and he won't hang about on the floor if he's not injured. And that's the uh, right decision, I think. A penalty there, nothing more lacking. But the penalty is 15 6. And Pozard running away for Leeds now, towards halfway before he's brought down. So, Neil Harmon now. They'll be happy to be back on the field, looking for the two points. 12 minutes to go. If Leeds could score again, they would surely wrap up this game. Porsche has broke through now, and perhaps the St. Helens defence is tiny a little now. Mick Shaw, will he scoot? He does indeed. And he's got Blags a face, Mick Shaw. 10 metres now from the uh, St. Helens line. Shaw quickly to his feet, plays a football. Schofield, out to man, looks for the run around. Schofield again. Puts Craig in, he's charging forward, Schofield, can he pick the ball up, he can. Steps inside, back to James Laws, Laws looks for the gap now. All right, Chad Darting going himself. Picked up by Oliver, what's going on there? Well, that... well, again, some strange decisions coming from Colin Morris there. The ball was going backwards, all right comes off, and Anthony Gibbons comes on. He's had a good game this afternoon, limping slightly, Graham, all right. Yeah, 69 minutes gone, all right off, Gibbons on. Saints uh, with possession from the scrum, even though they was held back on two occasions, pulled back and should have had penalties for it. As Golden puts the ball up here, Prescott's chasing it, Golden coming back. He falls on it, and Saints come up with a tackle. They tried to capitalise on Leeds being a little slow at the back, and Leeds have the possession now. Yes, Anthony Gibbons breaking away. A good play, but I don't think Saints realised the pace of Marvin Golden. They were backing uh, Steve Prescott there, and perhaps Danny Arnold. The ball's gone backwards, and now Carroll's coming away again for Leeds. Oh, and going again, Carroll. He's had the field out on the far side there. 
Schofield looks to bring Armand on the burst, and Armand will use his experience and his strength. He's take the ball down the middle of the field. So it's end-to-end -end stuff for St. Helens, looking for a way through. The Leeds defence is held strong this afternoon. Three tries to two they've scored. Anthony Gibbons again. Stepping, going himself. Fifth and last tackle. Schofield's in at acting half -back. What will he do now? Gives the ball to Craig Innes. Innes puts the kick through now. And Leeds quickly into the tackle, but uh, Prescott's got the ball wrapped up for Saints. Yes, and he's only inches from his own line as Matautia comes away. Solid tackling by Leeds. Good pressure there. Good tackling eventually by the Saints on this side, on the, the Saints' left. Gareth Cunningham trying to scamper away, but Leeds moving in exceptionally quickly. Gareth takes a knock. Now it's Scott Gibbs. Gibbs again, pumps the legs. Saints build up now, Bobby Golding. Golding puts it cross field. Gibbons is up there, Gibbons will take it. Golding's following it up. Will it hold in the field of play? It does. Well, Gibbons falls on it, and Golding pushes him into touch. Touching goal. Good chase by Bobby Golding. A rather lax play, I would say, Stuart, by Gibbons, though. Yes, he made a meal of picking the ball up. He could have been back in the field of play. And then uh, was just pushed over the in-touching goal by uh, Bobby Golding. The Leeds will have to drop out again without the boot of Graham Allroyd, which has been uh, the thing that's taken them away. And at 72 minutes, plenty of time for St. Helens to win the game run. Well, maybe so, Stuart. Let's hope so, as far as I'm concerned. And I know you won't think that way uh, with Leeds in the lead now by 16 points to eight. But certainly six points won't go amiss from Saints. They've a set of six to try and uh, get behind uh, the Leeds whitewash. Good tackling there by the liners. Saints still need to score three times. Simon Booth plays it quickly, Saints move it left, Golden again looking for runners, Beavers is there, it's out to Scott Gibbs, can Gibbs squeeze in, oh he's in, Gibbs is in for the try, the referee consulting with the touch judge, I don't think it's going to be given, he's certainly looking, consulting, no, he's reeling that he's held up, well I don't Touch judge there as well. The red me was held up over the line, but Saints are going to get scrum feed and possession. Another debatable decision there. Gibbs looks as though he was in, as if he touched down. And I'm sure if the referee couldn't see it, that the, the uh, touch judge couldn't. Head and feet to Saints. Fevers breaks from the loose forward position. Saints with another five. Time running out. Seven minutes remaining. Firm handling going to be the order of the day. Loop movement there as Saints keep it going. Andy Norley on the far side. Forced back by some good leads tackling. Saints have to penetrate this leads line. Good running. Saints within two metres. Leads with an injured man. From out to half back. Is it Gareth Cunningham? Is he trying to squeeze over? The liners defend the line. 16-8 the score, six minutes remaining. Golden puts a tester. It's losing ground. Haig has it. Haig's lost it. Leeds come up with it. Fallon has the possession. Fallon stood for an eternity in that tackle before the St. Helens man came in to knock him down. James Laws just taking play on, not tackled. Now it's St. Helens' turn to defend in gang tackles. That's good defence from St. Helens. Hazard, Pickavans had broke early again from the marking square. Some tired legs out there now on both sides. It's been a, that sort of a game. It's been end to end, one of the best games I've seen this season. Closeness, 16 8 leads just have it at the moment. Three tries to one. George Mann again looking to put Carl all on. In fact, he brings it inside for Marvin Golden. Golden spins out of a tackle. Still going. Just slipped as he came up to the line there. Shaw pulls himself from acting half. So Marvin Golden will play the ball acting half, finds Schofield. Schofield puts the kick in. He picked up on the far side by the St. Helens man. Well, Leeds pushing him towards the touchline side. Yes, and time running out for the Saints. Five minutes left. And it's certainly been a strength sapping contest this afternoon. 
As Stewart's just said, it's been a fine game. It's been uh, bone crunching, exciting rugby, and some uh, sloppy uh, movements at times that maybe the scoreline could have been different. Obviously, a bit, little bit of controversy at both ends, and no, none more so than that to Gibbs' effort a couple of minutes ago. The Saints move it out onto the far side. Last one of the sequence. Golden. He runs it, beats the defence, slips it out, still on the last tackle. Saints are moving it upfield. They keep the ball alive, it's loose, it's played on, onto a Leeds man, it's come back, the tackle count still on five, and Haig inside, the ball loose, it's Milstead with Haig, oh it's a try, Scott Gibbs is going to go behind the sticks, oh dear it me, is there another twist in this tail, as the Saints do keep the ball alive, Gibbs scores just uh, to the left of the sticks, with three minutes, to go into the season Stewart I say it's a little bit fortunate there and maybe uh, Stewart I say it's a little bit fortunate there the ball allowed to uh, be kept going it hit a Saints uh, it hit a Leeds man it came back Saints kept the ball going he kept the tackle on five it obviously a jug the Leeds man hadn't played for the ball Golden converts it, six points to the Saints, and what a game we've got now with 16 points to 14. Well, the ball came off the chest of a St. Helens player, and uh, earlier when that happened, the referee said it was a knock-on. So Leeds have looked off this game well sold up at 16 points to eight, and now hanging on at 16-14. We'll have a substitution left lead. And they'll really need to keep St. Ellen's pen down here now. Schofield brings the ball out, George Mann. George. Steps out of the way down the middle of the field, George Mann. Couldn't get the ball away to the supporting Anthony Gibbons. He gets to his feet this time and plays the ball correctly in it now. Lead stepping up the pressure. 78 minutes on the clock. Harry McDermott, just uh, nothing fancy in that Dermott, just takes that ball down, gets to his feet, plays the football, Mick Shaw scoots from acting out. Scoots again, Mick Shaw still going, is he going to go over for the winning try? He is! Over for the winning try, Mick Shaw, that's just what Leeds wanted. St. Helens couldn't keep the pressure on Leeds. That's good play from the liners, right from the own line to the... Far end of the six, that's the end of the game. St. Helens fans start to stream out now. And Ron, St. Helens just couldn't keep up the pressure. No, they couldn't. We know what this lad Shaw is capable of ever since he came on in the 57th minute, Stuart. He's uh, dashing and darting runs from acting half-back at a hallmark of his play. And great work from him there. And he knew if he could keep those legs pumping, and he got within distance there of the try line, that he was going to uh, slide over. Even if the Saints had hold of him, he's not the biggest of players in stature. George Mann exposed the hole in the Saints ranks from his own half. It was driven downfield, and this man Shaw, the live wire hooker, has sealed the game for the Liners. Wash your mouth out, Ron. <laughs> 20 points to 14 with the goal kick to come. Yes, good play from Leeds. Anthony Gibbons is about to attempt the goal. Show me that I have to start a new page on my statistics sheet because I can't get another one on the bottom and this is the first attempt of Anthony Gibbons this season. So he gets a spot. Well, he's missed it, so it's none from one. But Leeds have the game well and truly sewn up now, Ron. Well, you would think so. We're 80 minutes on the clock. Not much stoppage time. Six points separating the sides. 20 points to 14. Leeds have to kick off and give Saints possession. Is there another twist in the tail? There's certainly been uh, various areas of uh, controversy. But on the whole, I've enjoyed this afternoon's game and it's been a pleasure working with you, Stuart. The ball kicked into touch on the far side. Scrum down. And the final hooter goes. Stuart punches the air with delight. Saints 
could our Leeds have completed the double over the Saints this season 20 points to 14 the final score I'll leave you with Stuart to sum up yes first Leeds victory at Northland Road on the last nine so that's a record that Leeds have won a great game great second half was six all at half time Craig Innes had a try as early as the 42nd minute from Graham O'Roy to convert to make it 12-6 a Bobby Golden penalty picked him back to 12 points to 8. But then Carl Hall had a great try going over from halfway. Out facing Steve Prescott on the touchline side. Over too far out for Graham Allroyd's conversion. It was 16-8. Leeds had Neil Harmon in the Simmons for the spell of 10 minutes. And then Scott Gibbs had a try. A very fortunate try. Some might say the ball bouncing about and the referee a judging that he did a Leeds player and that St Helens could carry on with it. 16-14. St Helens tried the short kickoff. It didn't work. It went straight into touch from the stride, from the scrum. Mick Shaw finally scored the try. Leeds came right from their own line, right down there, and Mick Shaw going in at the, uh, the side of the post. Anthony Gibbons failing with the conversion. So I'll leave you from Northern Road then. From myself and Ron, Happy New Year to you all. Leeds 20, St. Helens 14. <laughs>